Teresa welcome to my channel thank you for joining me here today if you're new thank you for coming along it's almost Christmas and I have a few quick and easy Christmas cards to show you using this set of dies that I recently bought. Um, every so often I, I see things advertised and I think, oh, I don't know whether I want that. Am I going to use it? It looks quite good, but, you know, is it is it gimmicky? Do I really need it? And I buy it and every so often you, you discover yourself a real gem and this is one of those. I think that this set of dies by Pink and Main is absolutely fabulous. It is their sentiment strip dies and as you can see it's a set of 14 um, little banners. Now yes you can cut yourself strips of card like this by hand, sure you can, but these are all going to be exactly the same width, they're going to be perfectly straight, they're not going to be wonky and I found it to be so versatile. I have bought them for the purpose that they were made, which was for putting little sentiments in. But I'm hoping to show you today that not only can you do that, but you can make some really fun backgrounds. You can add like cool embellishments and even focal images using this set of dies. I found it absolutely brilliant. I bought it here in the UK from myperfectstamp.com. I will link the shop in the description below. If you're in the US, as I know a lot of my um, followers are, obviously order from Pink and Main or one of your many suppliers that stock their products. Um, if you can't get hold of this, as I say, you can trim yourself um, some narrow strips. You could cut the ends into the little ribbon shape if you want, or you could just cut them at an angle. I know the stamp market do some sets of dies that just cut lots of parallel narrow strips, so you could do a very similar thing with those dies as well. But this is what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, if you're looking for last minute ideas, something that's fun, a way of using up your scraps. And if you are like me, you will have the biggest collection of scraps. I have packets and packets of offcuts. I sort of sort them out. So I've got like pinks and reds and purples, blues and greens, yellows and oranges and browns. But you know, anything that is an offcut from my other projects, I save them. So this is absolutely perfect for die cutting these multicolored pieces that we collect if we're a card maker. So I'm going to clear these out of the way and I shall show you how simple it is to make some really fun things using this set of dies. All the cards that I'm making today are on a four inch square card blank. I like making um, small cards for Christmas simply because of the time factor. Uh, if I'm making multiples, you know, a smaller card is going to be quicker and easier to make in many ways. And I think they always look quite cute as well. There's, there's something very sweet about small cards. So all mine today are four inch square, but you can put these techniques onto whatever size card blank that you want. Um, I have die cut a load of banners, the longer sized banners in red card because I'm going to be using these for the background. So I, I did the longest ones. I've got some glue here. This is Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue. I do have this linked in the Amazon storefronts below as I do with these bottles as well, which have a very fine tip on them. And I find them really handy for gluing die cuts down. The other thing that I'm going to be putting on this card as a focal image um, is this stamp design, um, this joy. I've stamped it onto green card and white card. I am just using what I have um, in my stash. Now this stamp here was from a cover gift from a creative stamping magazine last year. Um, as you can see, it was a, a clearly besotted design. There are a lot of cutesy designs similar to this available. Check out Clearly Pizzotted, check out places like Lawn Fawn, check out Pink and Main. There, you know, use what you have. Um, I'm showing you ideas for using these dies and then I am accessorising with things that I've got in my stash already. So you could use a die cut um, or a stamped image, whatever suits you, whatever you've got. So to begin with, I'm going to be making basically a candy cane striped background. With, that's why I've decided to do the red and I'm going to be starting diagonally I am going to glue a couple of banners on where they're not quite long enough I'm leaving a slight gap and joining another one in it's easier to go from corner to corner first and then work out that way they should all stay pretty parallel to each other once I've got the whole front covered, I'll trim around the edges and we'll move on to adding the focal image.
as I apply the various banners, I'm going to make sure that the joins are not all next to each other. I'm just going to have them randomly staggered. Once you've covered the front, just trim around the edge either with scissors or a paper trimmer. And then it's time to add the focal embellishment. So I've cut out that joy that I stamped on the green, cut out the snowflake um, that I'd stamped on the white. I'm just going to layer this on top with a bit of glue. Now, if you want extra dimension, use foam tape. Um, but I like to keep my Christmas cards fairly flat because they're going through the post. Um, postage stamps can be quite expensive, especially if you have to start buying in, over here in the UK, the ones for the large letter, which are a little bit thicker. So I try and keep anything that's going in the post thinner. I'm going to pop a little gem on there. These are some little flat back gems from Pretty Pink Posh. This is their holiday mix. Um, red, white and green. Really like these. Just going to find which one I want. Put a bit of glue in the middle here. And I think I'm going to pop a red one in the middle. And then all I have to do now is decide where I want to pop this. Um, I think I'm going to put it there. So again, you could add a little bit of 3D foam on the back if you want to pop this up. But I'm going to keep this one flat. And just glue it down like so. If you want to add a couple more gems to that you can do but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that's card number one, nice and quick and easy. For card number two I'm going to stick with using the strips as a background. This time however I've cut them from different shades of blue because I want to use this little snowman stamp and this phrase there's nobody like you. Again using this from the same set of stamps um use the cute little snowman and one of the phrases that was on there just stamped that onto white and cut that out this time though i'm going to be popping my borders across and i'm going to fit in my sentiment and add my little focal stamped image on top once I've completed the background. Once again, I've covered the whole of the card front, trimmed the edges with my paper trimmer, just added a little bit of colour to my stamped snowman. Then I'm going to pop him in place down there. Again, pop him up on a bit of 3D foam if you want dimension. Um, add a few gems if you want. Might actually add a couple of gems. I think a bit of sparkle would be nice on this one. And um, this time I'm using the Starry Sky mix. Again, pretty pink posh little gems here. And there we go. A little bit of sparkle. Always nice on a Christmas card. Next up, I'm going to stamp individual letters onto the banners that I've cut and I've just die cut um, a Christmas as well. This one is a Gina K one. This one here Gina K designs just called Christmas die and as you can see that is my card's four inches it's about four inches across and I'm going to stamp the word Merry so I've die cut 
five um, banners in different colours. I'm going to be sticking these at the top. Now you have the choice, you can stamp your letters first, you can and then attach the banners, you can attach the banners first. If you're a little bit wary as to whether or not you'll stamp it properly, I suggest trying to stamp the letters first because you can always cut another banner if you make a mess and uh, you won't have ruined your entire card front. I've got um, a little set of alphabet stamps here. Um, these were from Studio G here in the UK. They, they're Hampton Art um, set, but as long as you've got something that's small enough to fit on here, you'll be fine. Um, you could indeed take a fine liner pen and just draw the, the letters on yourself if you haven't got a small stamp set. So I want my banners arranged in sort of rainbow form. So I'm going to stamp the M onto the red, the E onto the orange, R onto the yellow and the green and a Y onto the blue banner. Any black ink will do. I've got a Versifying Claire here um, in Nocturne, which is their black shade. And I'm just going to stamp my letters on. I just want to give that a moment for the ink to dry. I don't want to be smudging it as I'm pressing it down. Okay, I think these are dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and attach them. Going to add the scent, the die cut sentiment across the bottom. And I think I may as well add a nice gem again while I've got them out here. So I'm going to just see if I can get out one of the larger red ones from this holiday mix set. And I'm going to add that to the dot of the eye. Again, just going to trim these ends off. And there we go. Another really quick and simple card. Really nice. Like that. Um, I, I, I just I think there's something to be said about keeping things very simple and classic looking. So now I'm going to move on to our final card. And this time I have die cut various strips in green. All different sizes. And I am going to build a little Christmas tree. So I just need to sort them out, arrange them in order of size so I know uh, which way around to stick them on my card. I've also cut myself just a little plant pot from some red card. That was just, uh, I just cut a one inch square and tapered it down, then trimmed a little bit off the top and popped that on to make the lip of the card. And I've die cut a gold star from some gold card, pearlescent card. But you could use a gem, um, a bit of glitter, whatever. So I'm going to stick my pot on first so we know where the tree is going to go to.
and then starting at the bottom I'm going to pop these in place. Now I'm not bothered about keeping these completely straight, I, I quite like a bit of a wonky overlapping sort of effect. All you need to do is make sure though that this pot stays reasonably close to the centre. We don't want it to be too off balance to the left or the right. And of course when we get to the top of our tree we want to place our star on top like so. Now this would also look really nice on a tall slim card and space your branches out. You could always draw a little stem in with a pen. Um, but I, I'm, as I say, today I'm using these little square cards. I think I'm just going to finish it with a small stamped sentiment in the corner. And there we have card number four. Now I've really enjoyed making these and I hope um, I've been able to show you that you don't have to spend a huge amount of time making cards. They don't have to be that fancy. Let me just zoom you out a little bit um, to be simple but really fun and effective for Christmas. I would suggest that if you've got this set of dies, when you're making other projects, we all have sort of leftover bits and pieces from when we've been making cards. Before you throw that scrap in the bin, cut out a few little banners, keep them in a box, keep them in a Ziploc bag, and then you'll soon have a whole load of these ready cut um, just to start piecing together and use and use up all those little bits and pieces always seems such a shame to throw um, small scraps away but we can't keep everything but um, by cutting them into little banners like this we're going to find a good use for them. As always if you enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you again next week but for now that's all bye. Angels we have heard on her Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Glory